it's Melissa from the Children's Hands-On Museum in Tuscaloosa and today we're going to make a very simple ring and stick game. I've got a completed one here I'll show you. It's a simple thing with a stick, a string, and something that is round for you to try to catch it on. Now the cool thing about this is there are tons of things you can use to make the parts of this game and you can just look around your house with parents help finding the supplies please so you don't use something precious to them for your game. Here's a collection of items that I've found to use for the stick portion of our game. I've got real sticks for my backyard, I've got a paint stir stick, I've got a ruler, a popsicle stick, and even my prized Elvis Emery board. So that's one set of supplies you need. Pick something simple. You also need something to make the ring out of. And so I've gathered um, an assortment of things and you know, you certainly can come up with your own ideas. I snipped off the end of a paper, um, roll, a toilet paper roll, excuse me. I've got two different rolls of tape. This one's a little one. This one's a bigger one, might require a bigger stick. The same thing with a cup, get a parent to help you cut off the top of it to make a circle with it. Also got pipe cleaners here, mine are fancy, but they don't have to be. I simply made a circle with it. I also have a combination of them and I will show you in just a minute how you can weave these together to make a fancier ring. And then of course you just need some string and I just got an assortment of things. I've even got ribbon, I've got a thicker um, type of string and different weights of string and it just may depend on the other supplies that you use. You can just try it out and see how different types of string and different weights of um, sticks and things will work for you. So now that you've found your supplies that you're going to use, you want to, I'm going to start with my ring, I think. I'm going to take my pipe cleaners, the three that I had, and I'm going to twist them together at one end. I'm going to even them up first. There we go. You can kind of see how I've done that. Ooh, a little close, sorry. <laughs> um, you're going to twist them. And then if you keep twisting the rest of it, and then you can just kind of connect them to each other like this, okay? So that's one way you can make a ring. You can also get a parent to help you cut this to make a real sturdy ring. Um, or like I showed you earlier, you could cut this portion of that cuff away. What I'm gonna do to build mine is I'm gonna take a ring I made earlier with my fancy red, silver, and blue, kind of patriotic. I think I'm gonna use some of the black string and I'm going to use a paint stir stick. And this is really simple. Once you have all your supplies, all you got to do is tie the ring to the string. You tie the other end to your stick. Cool thing is, if something happens as you're using it and you don't like the string or you don't like the weight of the stick, you can always change it. Um, you can just clip or untie the string and put a new one on or take the stick off and insert another one and tie the string to it. Okay, so here is my ring and stick game that I just made. And what you wanna do is you wanna gently move the stick and try to catch the ring on it. If you sling it real fast, it goes too fast, it's hard to catch. So you wanna be gentle with it. Look at that, I did it the first try. What if I do? I did it a second time. So this is a very old game. Uh, Native American children played this game. It, it was called Pomawanga in one of the native languages. Uh, Pioneer children made these also. Let me show you another one. This is one I made with a pencil. You can see that my pencil was sharpened. So to prevent that sharp point from being a problem, I just taped it off. Um, I also have some string, and this is a piece from a toilet paper roll, but all I did was I used some of my string to decorate it. I mean, you could decorate it with a marker if you wanted to. All right, so let's try this one. A little harder, because the ring is smaller. Ah, 
finally got it. So guys, I have a more challenging way to make the ring for our rope and ring game, or Pomawanga, if you wanna call it the Native American name. Um, I used some rope. It's just some basic rope that I found at my house. It's a three-ply rope, but you could also use something like natural rope. This is hemp rope. And it's got, if it's a three-ply, what you want to do is you want to undo the three big strands. So let me show you how that works. Here is one of my strands from my really thick rope that I found unopened in my garage. So we had never used it. But what you're gonna do, and you really may need some more help, and adults, you may have to help with this, of course, um, is you want to make your circle um, somewhere in the center of it. So what I, I did was I stretched my rope. So it's, it's halved, okay? So I've got it even. And I'm gonna make my circle in the middle. Okay, and it's kind of hard to see because it's so twisted up. I'll give you a tip about that in a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this ring that you've started and you're gonna take this long end and you're gonna wrap it back and it's like you're putting the strands back together. They kind of have a natural groove there and as you do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you just keep weaving it through. It's a pattern. You go in side the circle and then you wrap it around the outside. And you can see, again, it really wants to go back in place. So I'm gonna keep going around until I get to the end of my, the end of my rope. I'm at the end of my rope here. For real. So you can kind of see that I'm making this ring. And then I can take the other end and keep doing the same thing. And again, like I said, you may need some help. I find that dealing with the nylon rope is a little harder because it's stiffer. And so it, it curls in on itself a lot more. But I already had this one ready. So that this is my rope and ring game that I made. And I actually made this ring using that so rope. So here is my hemp rope. And you can see that I've started pulling off one of the big strands. Let me do this, and if I undo this, you can see that it's actually three pieces of rope woven together to make it stronger. Okay, so I untwisted one of the strands from my hemp rope, and you'll notice immediately it starts trying to unravel. So what I did with my single strand was I, before I've done anything, is I've put tape around the end to restore the shape of it, okay? Because that one's completely coming apart. All right, so what you wanna do is you want to find the middle of it, again, make it even. And I went ahead and decided what size ring I wanted and I just looped it through there. So I just started the loop. Now. All I gotta do is choose a strand, and I'm gonna take it, do that pattern again. I'm gonna take the end of it, and I'm gonna go inside the circle. This is a little easier to use than the other, because like I said, the other nylon rope was so stiff that it made it more difficult if you had a regular three-ply twine rope, it might be easier still. I don't think it would try to fall apart like this hemp rope is. So you can see, and we'll continue this process. See, it's gotta go around the outside and come inside the circle. Already getting easier to see the ring shape because it's a little sturdier now that you have the second strand running around it. 
And basically what we're doing is we're putting the three ply back together. We're just using one strand of the rope and wrapping it around itself to make that third ply. This end of the rope, I'm gonna wrap the whole thing around it. The other one, we'll reserve some for our string to make our game. We might wrap some of that around it just to make it a little sturdier. But now you can kind of see that I can take the other end, do the same thing. Okay, so I've completed it and I've got these two ends, the taped ends, and I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda stick it down inside. You can, you can kinda separate the strands and tuck it down in there. So I've tucked them down inside there. Okay, I've got my red electrical tape. Let's see how that works on the things. I use it for a lot of things and not for electrical purposes. All right, so now, wow, I've hidden those so well in there, I'm not sure where they are. That's a good thing. Oh, there they are. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. Right. So I've got my ring for my game, and now I just need to add the string and a stick. So hold I have my red string. And I've taken it, and I got a little fancy. I cut off three strands of it and then braided it together because I felt like one strand was not gonna be strong enough. When you look at the stick I've got, and the ring I've got, I needed a sturdier string to attach them. So I actually braided it. You don't have to get that fancy, but anyway. Um, what I'm gonna do, of course, is tie one end to the stick and one end to my ring. There we go. All right, pretty cool. All right, so good luck with that challenge today. One thing you're gonna notice about this particular game is the rope is still kind of twisty. So I'm gonna hang it around a doorknob, because it'll fit right around it since it's a ring, and let it stretch out a little bit, or maybe lay it straight and put some weight on it, um, and that'll make it a better game. However, the other one is ready to go. All right, so you've got a ring that's a little softer, but it's ready to go now. So let's try it out. There we go. So have fun.